Fall is officially here, but Peace Region residents can still enjoy some summer weather before the temperature drops. Mostly sunny with just a few kind of cloudy moments on Friday and Sunday, but um, temperatures creeping up into the 20s for Monday, which would be, you know, at least six or seven degrees above normal for this time of year. Mid next week, the temperature will start to decline, reflecting typical fall weather. Getting closer to zero, maybe even going below zero degrees by uh, middle of next week onward, and then temperatures highs during the day kind of maybe creeping up to 10, 12 degrees. Periods of rain are expected this fall, but it won't be as severe as the heavy flooding that happened this summer. You will see uh, more kind of gray and longer longer days of rain that will last, you know, a couple days and get you wet that way as opposed to really big dumps that happen over the course of just a few hours. Even though fall just began, the city of Fort St. John is preparing for winter. We've got the crew down here uh, for the next few weeks crushing the winter sand as well as some of the road-based gravels. So that'll take place, like I say, for the next two to three weeks. They're also making sure their equipment is ready to go. We've had the uh, snow blowers, the graders, the plow trucks, the sanders into the shop, making sure that they're ready to roll for the winter too. Environment Canada anticipated going into a La Nina phenomenon this winter, but they say the odds have changed and sea surface temperatures may remain normal. They're looking more like 60 percent uh, chances that we will go into a neutral phenomena for uh, the winter months. Last winter, the piece saw higher temperatures than normal, but that is not predicted for this winter. We probably will see uh, overall a cooler winter than we did last year because last year was such a big uh, winter in terms of record keeping. Carissa Wilson, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.